Hi, hey, I'm Morgan, and today I'm here to do the mid-year book freakout tag. The mid-year book freakout tag is a tag that goes around this time of year where we reflect the past six months of our reading and anticipate and set new goals for the remaining six months of the year. This tag was created by Chami at Read Like Wildfire and Ellie at Earl Grey Books. I was not personally tagged to do this, but my friend Katie sent me the tag and was like, hey, you should do this if you haven't done it already. And like, yeah! There are 15 questions to this tag, so I'm just gonna hop right into it. Question one is the best book you've read in 2017. I think the best book that I've read so far in 2017 has been History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I did a review for this book, like, right at the beginning of the year. It came out in January, and it really set my expectations for the reading year substantially high. This book features our main character Griffin who just lost the love of his life Theo in a drowning accident and he's trying to come to terms with that and also with his obsessive compulsive disorder and this book is absolutely beautiful. It's so heartbreaking. Adam Silvera is phenomenal. He has another book coming out later this year. This is Known Voices novel. I gave it five out of five stars. I think that it was spectacular. I love this book. <laughs> Question two is the best sequel you've read in 2017. Honestly, I haven't read that many sequels. Looking at the books I've read so far this year, I've read a lot of standalones. So far, I think the best sequel I've read this year was Scott Pilgrim vs. the World by Brian Lee O'Malley. This is the second volume in the Scott Pilgrim graphic novel series. I adored this. I gave it four stars, which is usually what I give graphic novels. There was action, it was funny, it the art style is brilliant, and I absolutely love the way that these characters are continuing to develop and continuing to find themselves and their personalities. I can't wait to continue on with this series. I think that it's I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Question three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to. I think I mentioned this in my book haul from May. New release that I haven't gotten to yet but like need to is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I am so excited to get into this book. I think that it's gonna be really important. I think it's gonna be one of these books that stays with me for a really long period of time. This book was influenced by the Black Lives Matter movement. It features our main character, Star, who witnessed her good friend Khalil become a victim to police brutality and was shot and killed while unarmed. And it's a nationwide call for justice. And it's just, it's getting rave reviews. No one has said a bad thing about it. And I, I think that this is, a very crucial book in the time that we're living in right now. I think that it's so necessary and I can't wait to read it. I'm gonna get to it soon, I promise. Question four is the most anticipated release for the second half of the year, and for me that's gonna have to be They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I cannot wait for this book. It comes out in September. Basically it's set in a slightly more futuristic society than our own and this company has figured out a science and algorithm to figure out when you're going to die so they will call you up and say, hey, you've got 24 hours to live, set your affairs in order, get everything figured out, and people are meeting up on their death days and spending the day together and doing like bucket list type activities and it's about these two boys that meet up together. I'm so so excited. Hit me up for that collab, Adam. I realize that probably no one has watched my review of History Is All You Left Me so no one will get that joke, but it's fine. I still find it funny. <laughs> Question five is biggest disappointment. For me, I really think that that was Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Illuminae Files series. I read both of these for the Winter Biennial Bibliothon back in January. I really enjoyed Illuminae, but this one wasn't really my cup of tea. I didn't like the relationship that built in this book. I really didn't give a shit about the characters that were highlighted in this book. After Illuminae, I just really wanted more Katie and Ezra, and this did not have nearly as much Katie and Ezra as I was wanting, and it just... <sighs> no. Question six was biggest surprise. I think the book that surprised me the most so far this year was A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I really didn't know what I was getting into when I went into this book, but I really, really enjoyed it. I bawled my eyes out way more than I was expecting to. I gave it five stars. This book was incredible, and I think that picking up the illustrated edition was a really good call on my part. I think it was really great. Question seven is favorite new author, whether it be debut or new to you. This is like weird because her book did come out this year, but I've known about her before I read her book. As Brenna Tui with her debut collection, Forgive Me My Salt. This is a poetry collection. As you can see, 
I really enjoyed it. This was beautiful. This book was absolutely outstanding. I love poetry. I love spoken word and slam poetry and Brenna Tui is a spoken word artist and a slam poet so I devoured this. I've read it multiple times this year. I absolutely love it. I think it's so so good. I highly recommend it to anybody who is a fan of poetry whether it be text poetry or slam or spoken word poetry. I think that anyone can get something out of this. There's so much that I highlighted in this book. So many sticky tabs. I just I love this. I think she's working on her second collection as we speak which I'm so excited about. I will read anything. Brenda Tui could like write a laundry list or a grocery list and I would just bawl my eyes out and be moved by it and think that she's the most riveting human because she is. I love her. Question eight is newest fictional crush and honestly I have like the biggest crush on Scott Pilgrim. He has his flaws. He's not a perfect man. He's not a perfect character but I love him. There's something about him that I just I root for him so hard and I I want him like I want a Scott Pilgrim in my life that just plays in a lame band and you know does all these silly things and is just obsessed with the girl that he loves. I just I want oh my god I have a Scott Pilgrim. Question 9 is newest favorite character and I can't decide if I like Katie or Ezra from Illuminae more so I'm gonna go with both of them and their relationship. I think they're perfect. I think they're wonderful. They are my baby. Katie. Katie. Ezra's cool but like Katie is such a badass woman. She's such a just take no shit lady and I love her. Question 10 is a book that made you cry and no one is surprised when I'm gonna say History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. This book destroyed me. Like every three seconds I was either laughing or crying. I was very emotionally conflicted and confused. I cannot put into words how beautifully heartbreaking this book was. It meant so much to me but it also devastated me. A lot of feelings about History is All You Left Me. A lot of feelings about Adam Silvera's work in general because I felt the exact same way about More Happy Than Not. Just bawled my eyes out then I'd be like oh <laughs> what a sweet moment and then it would just become a train wreck and everything fell apart and it just all hurt so badly but I loved it all so much and I'm gonna do it to myself again in September. I <sighs> Question 11 is a book that made me happy. I'm gonna go with Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I think this book was really great. It was cool to be able to compare this to the film while I was reading it and the small little differences were really really neat but I really enjoyed just the aesthetic that this book created. It didn't make me happy like it wasn't like a cheerful read but there was something about it that just like filled me with nostalgia almost and that in of itself made me happy I guess. Question 12 is favorite book to film adaptation you've seen this year. Don't think I've seen any book to film adaptations but I've watched a few book to Netflix special. I've watched a series of unfortunate events and a little bit of 13 reasons why and I really enjoyed those. I obviously can't give my full opinion of 13 reasons why because I haven't finished it yet but I really really enjoyed the adaptation of a series of unfortunate events so far. It was really really great. If you were a fan of the series of unfortunate events and you want to see some really nice discussion videos about it, CC over at Problems of a Book Nerd has a series on her channel called A Series of Unfortunate Discussions, I think is what it's called, and she has four videos discussing the book and then the two corresponding episodes and those are really great. I don't think I have as much uh, clout to talk about A Series of Unfortunate Events as CC does, so I really think you should check those out. Also Emma over at Emma Books has a discussion video talking about 30 reasons why comparing the book to the Netflix series. If I'm being honest, I was watching 13 Reasons Why and it was all fine. I was reading the book and it was all fine but then Shameless took over my life. Shameless has destroyed me. I'm gonna finish Shameless and then I will watch 13 Reasons Why and I will have that video up at some point eventually. Question 13 is favorite video you have done so far this year? I really like my drunk discussion of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I really really like my review of History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Sometimes I will see the thumbnail when I look at my videos and I'm just like man 
I need to do more reviews on this channel and I'm going to like that is my goal for the rest of the year is to film and upload more reviews of books because I like doing reviews and I like people knowing my thoughts about things I just have so many books and I just don't know what to review and it's it's kind of stressful <laughs> question 14 is the most beautiful book you've bought or received this year so far I think I'm gonna go with my Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition of Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I just think that this is absolutely stunning. I also have a Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass that I got this year, and I think both of these are absolutely gorgeous. They both have deckled edges, and the artwork is just absolutely stunning. I want every Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition that's ever existed, ever. The cool thing is that the art style for both these books are substantially different. These don't look the same. They don't look like they're part of the same collection, but they are, and it's awesome, and I love them, and I want all of them. Question 15 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? The only two that I really need to read are The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera because I just have anticipated both of them. They Both Die at the End, I can understand. I don't have a copy of that. It doesn't come out till September. You know, I, I'm not receiving arcs over here. But The Hate You Give, it's been out for a while. I have it. I own it. I showed it earlier in this video. I. I have no excuses other than Shameless has taken over my life and my time. See so guys, there you have it. That is the mid-year book freakout tag. I don't know anyone who hasn't done this tag already, so if you've done this tag and I tag you, just ignore me. It's fine. But I tag Melanie at It's a Bookish Thing 13, Jesse over at Jesse's Shelf, and Ben over at Ben Sanders. I look forward to seeing your guys' videos if you do them. I don't know. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments on how your reading year is going so far and if you're freaking out like me and if Shameless has taken over your life. If you want to see more of my content, you can always subscribe. I upload every Monday and Wednesday so you get to see my mug twice a week. Like I said, my name is Morgan. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and happy reading. Okay, bye!